What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna have a little fun and uh, build a custom cross member using the factory one to fit a 4L80 in the Regal. So with that guys, let's get started and uh, I'll explain what we're gonna do. So, we uh, got a cross member, it's out of AG body. I'm not sure if it's out of this Regal or not. My buddy had it at his house. Um, and we gotta make his 4L80 fit, which actually on this car is actually easier than the twin car sitting over there. Uh, I had to actually extend the frame on that one and modify it and do some things and make it all fit. Um, this one doesn't look like I have to do that. So, I'm gonna show you what I got and how I'm gonna do it. and. Uh, let you all kind of see how easy it is. So, uh, if you look here, I've got a cross member and we cut the mounting part off. I've still got to grind all this. And this is where I think roughly I'm gonna have to mount it. But basically, we're gonna bolt, the, bolt this into the car and then get that with the mount on the transmission in place and then i'm going to tack it and then we will weld it up and see exactly how it all fits so the number one thing you want to do is get the transmission eh, transmission sitting on something so you can jack it up high enough you also want to make sure you go ahead and have your motor mounts tight so that there's no real play in anything so as you can tell this is because of transportation as well. This was on there, but I'm gonna get the transmission up pretty much as high as I feel like it needs to go. Um, this is actually gonna be coming off. I don't even know why it's still on there. We don't need it. Um, we're gonna end up having to make a custom cross or a custom drive shaft loop anyway. So we'll get this out of the way. But I actually just noticed that this frame is a hair different. If you look over here, it's got this piece is all the way out. And then this piece is back here. I don't know if that's on all Regals or not, but on the Monty's, the frame goes from here all the way back. And actually on mine, I had to extend it back further to sit where I could mount it all. So I'm gonna get the cross member mounted up in there and uh, just kind of roughly bolt it in and then we'll show you the mount and how I'm going to have to do it. So guys, we kind of had to improvise. It's kind of my fault. Um, when I mocked this up the other day, it looked super simple, and as you all know, most things never turn out that way. Um, this cross member is definitely not for this car. I had to trim the ends off, even though it's for a G-body. I'm not sure what G-body it's for. Um, the factory bracket, when I stuck it up there, is actually just a hair too long, and I didn't like the placement of it. So, I took a small piece of angle iron, nothing fancy. Um, drilled a hole i'm gonna mount this into the transmission weld it down the sides and then brace it and that's pretty it. i mean that's it there, there's nothing to this so let's get that going and y'all can kind of see what i'm doing with this so guys something i had to do on mine too is i'm probably gonna have to build a bracket off here just to kind of bolt it so there's two bolts in it um but i had to drill a new hole through the cross member uh, through the, the regular hole and just drilled a new hole and bolted it to hold it on this side uh, The other side I actually don't have to do that it uh, Up in here it actually lines up, okay So I'm gonna bolt this side in and then I will show you how I'm gonna tack weld the center here So guys, that's pretty much about it angle iron couple holes I did cut it so I could weld through the bottom. And like I said, I will be putting some kind of gussets 
you know, on the sides just as a safety precaution. Um, so I'm gonna weld this in around and then gusset it and it's pretty much done. Uh, now, with that being said, you could go spend a couple hundred dollars or a hundred and something dollars, two hundred dollars, whatever it is, on a cross member for this. Um, it's up to you guys. I don't know how well y'all can see me right now, but this is a cheap option. I'll get it finished up and show you, but I mean, it was literally, I drilled two holes. I did hit the floor back just a hair. Um, had to do a little trimming, but I mean, less than a couple hours. I don't know what your time's worth, but even if, if you value yourself at $50 an hour, you're still cheaper to just build your own. Yeah, the tube ones are, are nice, don't get me wrong, um, but I don't know how well they would have worked with this setup because you know the motor mounts and stuff may not be the same as what they used but this should work fine uh it's basically what i did the twin car too so we'll get this all welded up and let y'all see it when it's done So let's look up there one more time. I did gusset it uh, with some old frame gussets I had laying around. I'm gonna chop the bottom off of them. Um, but I mean, that thing is probably stronger than any aftermarket one you're gonna buy besides maybe a chrome molly. And all it took was a little bit of time and effort and saved my buddy Steve here, hopefully a couple hundred dollars or at least a hundred dollars. Um, because this car is already costing a lot. So I'll show you guys a picture when I'm completely done with it because I'm going to take it out and paint it um, and grind off where the old, the old bracket was. So let me get that done, guys, and let y'all see the whole finished prod product. So look at there. We got it all done. Um, it's actually painted, besides that little bit right there, with a truck bed liner. That's what my buddy wanted, so that's what I painted it with. Um, it definitely is more durable than regular paint, but as you can tell, it's all uh, braced and everything. That's still soft, so don't do that. Um, makes it easy to get to the bolts on each side. It's way stronger than probably that factory mount because the way I built it and the thickness of metal I used. Uh, but that's, I mean, it's really it. And so I know I'm gonna get some people that are like, oh, well, that took a while and yeah, it doesn't, no, it don't look as nice as the tube ones or this and that and that and this. And if you wanna go spend $400 on one that's thicker or you wanna spend $200 on a tube one, that's fine. I support you 100%. But in this build, we're trying to keep it budget friendly. That was scrap metal laying around and me just welding some stuff up took an hour and a half not including the paint and i just went and hung it outside on a tree and painted it real quick um very simple and guys that's really it this i mean it's more it's a really simple thing you could do i mean just using your factory cross member and just spending some time yeah i had to dent the floor up but who cares i mean the floor's you know got carpet over it can't really see it um but if you don't want to do that Go buy a tube one, they're great. Um, lots of places sell them, but that, that was not our option. So that is a very budget friendly G body 4L80 cross member using the factory cross member. Um, you can go to any of your local hardware stores and get a piece of angle iron and do the same thing I did. Just chop it off, put it up there, drill a hole for your mount, mount it, tack it, weld it, you're done. It's, you really can't get no simpler. You do have to move the cross member back and drill new holes um it's really not a big deal i mean i've done it on a lot of them just clamp it down with the c clamp or something and then drill the holes bolt it then weld it makes it easy um guys that's really it on that let's go to the next thing which is the giveaway um we definitely don't have enough to really do the giveaway but it's getting to the point where i'm about to say forget it and the people that have 
comment it on the giveaway post are going to get entered and still giving away two shirts and i guess those guys just got a lot better chance so i'm going to give it two more weeks to try to get to 50. If we don't get to 50 whatever we're at that's uh that's what we're going with i mean i'm not going to keep waiting um i figure people would like giveaways but it's kind of weird that you know you don't really have to do anything and it's free and nobody really didn't you know said it so or uh commented but that's okay um the other, other thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start on the fuel system soon the sump i'm actually working on the video on the sump but the gas tank is actually at my buddy joe's because his welder um, has a lot thinner wire so it's a lot easier to weld that thin metal uh, mine works really good for roll cages and thick stuff but it's kind of hard to weld thin sheet metal uh, or it likes to blow through and i really don't want to go buy a whole another spool of wire and tips and all that for for just doing that one job um, the other thing is i actually i'll just show you guys um, if you look over here you can see my messy table uh, that motor is actually sold guys so it won't be here long um, but you see my messy table that transmission is actually about to go into a tub and i'm going to clean this table off so i can finally start having my um, fab table back i'm also going to take the tire changer to my dad's house um, because i work at a dealer again i really don't need it i can take my stuff to work balance and put it um, so i'm gonna take that to him to help him um, dismount tires from the scrap vehicles that he uses that's really it we got a lot more videos coming on the regal real soon we've got parts ordered we got parts coming we got to put parts on and uh so basically we're down to the fuel system and finishing a few things up under the hood um and then from there it'll be wiring so guys with that like subscribe hit that notification bell so you can see my next videos um we got a lot of videos coming and i'd like to grow this channel a lot more um that's really about it guys you guys have a good one you have any questions about g bodies or this or any of my other videos comment message me doesn't matter instagram monty guy 90 you can find me um i'm always answering questions uh, if you go look at any of the comments i always answer so guys with that until next time we'll see you later